Yeah, the western swamp tortoises generally start breeding in winter. Um, usually in captivity it's July and August and then usually takes about four months and those females will actually lay. And once the females lay in captivity, we actually dig those eggs up, we'll um, process them, which basically involves measuring and weighing, and then we'll basically put them into incubators. The two individuals we can see on the film were the last two hatchlings to come out of the eggs this season. And basically all up, it took about half an hour for them to actually fully emerge from the egg, uh, which is quite a long time, particularly for this species. Normally they're pretty quick, but it was quite good to actually get it on film. And particularly seeing as they were the last two hatchlings to come out this season, uh, we were quite lucky. This year we've had 33 hatchlings. Once they hatch out, we basically process the hatchlings, which involves assigning them a number ID, um, so identification number. We also weigh them, we measure them, and we'll actually give them what we call a nail polish ID. We basically paint a little dot on their shell or two dots and we have a key set up so that we know exactly which hatchling is which hatchling. Once they hit about 100 grams in weight, which will take somewhere between three and five years, uh, we'll actually hand them over to the Department of Environment and Conservation, at which time they will be released into the wild. You'll see on the footage that uh, one of the hatchlings has a pink membrane attached to it. Uh, this membrane is actually called the allantois or the allantoic membrane and the equivalent in a human would be the umbilical cord and its basic purpose is to help feed nutrients to the hatchling as it's developing and also things like oxygen as well and it also helps remove waste.